if anybody's thinking of going up there like on their own, forget it. There's been other people up there looking. They are stupidly hiding in a bush with a great big post waiting to clobber the first thing that comes around the corner. That might be you. No, I mean, I just don't know why. I don't know, I just don't like this spot. No, it's not. No readings. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Well, once I get about here, I'm all right. I'm, I'm out of it. You're really cold. Yeah, I'm out of it. And I'm fine. Everything's settled down. There's no problem. No, it's bizarre. Apart from the friend that I was doing it with feeling sick afterwards, but I mean, it didn't really move much. No. The, glass, it, uh... the thing is, you've got to know who you're doing it with, really, most Well, of that's right. I mean, you've got to better trust them. Yeah, definitely. Because otherwise, involuntary muscle movements, it will say what you want, what they want, and want it to say. Because yeah. they're moving it themselves. Yeah. Okie dokie, off we go. You can say the words. Go on. Is there anybody there? Anybody want to speak to us? Are we off? Looks like it. Make sure you're not pressing down too hard, folks. Are we allowed to let go at any time? If you like, yeah. yeah. Yes. Can we ask who it is, please? Can you give us an, your name? Whoops. Whoops. Oh, it feels like a barrier there somewhere. Is that Jay? A. Jack. C. Oh God, just there somewhere. I don't know whether there's something wrong with that. K. Jack. You. Is it Jack Upperton? Well, well. Yes, Jack Upperton. Huh. What are you doing here? I won't ask. What, do you have a message for us? Why? Oh, you can say you. Whoops. L. You will find nothing here but evil. Who? Or what? S. Spiritual. P. T. Spirit. Well, I see. Where? 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 Here now, where we are now? Yes. Okay. B. Jack B. B, B, B. E. C. Be careful. A. R. E. Be careful. F. U. L. Be careful. Oh, okay, goodbye. You, nice meeting you, Jack. You ended the lesson then. Jack Upperson is the, uh, how should we say, that's the, um, the celebrity of the, uh, the gibbet. Yeah, the highway, an ex highwayman, got hung for robbing the mail coach running from London to Arundel, wasn't it? Yeah, the, the gibbet site is about two miles west of this point as we stand now. 
Jack Upton has given us no trouble in the past. We've given him respect and he's given us respect back. One observation I made tonight when we first came up here, the birds were in plentiful supply, crows, owls, whatever else. Since we've done the Ouija board, I've noticed it's been quiet. Yeah, it's completely Maybe stopped, a... isn't it? Yeah. I mean, even the that owls that are normally there. hooting away, even now, have gone. It's become absolutely silent ever since the Ouija board started up. The last stop for the investigation was the crossroads. We're going to the crossroads to take some EMF readings because yesterday we came up here and we got very high off the scale readings. So we're just going to go back now and see if we can try and get them again so we can record them. Yeah, see, this is exactly the same spot as what we were in yesterday, but yet I'm not picking up anything, which is very strange. No, it's going backwards. It's less. That's what I mean. Less than, minus. Yeah, minus. Minus. I mean, we haven't actually physically found anything. Um, it has felt oppressive at, at parts, in parts. We've had one or two readings on the meter. Um, and that really about covers what we would normally do. I mean, bearing in mind, we're covering these areas very frequently. So, um, you know, it's, 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 it's just a matter of checking to see what's going on, if anything. Our time with Charles was coming to an end. And whilst we had learnt a lot about Clapham's past and his investigations, there wasn't really any conclusive evidence to back up his claims. Unconvinced by his methods, we wanted to gain an overall picture, and so began asking villagers for opinions and insights into anything they had experienced. Most were happy to talk to us, although few of them agreed to go on camera. Had they seen any unusual practices? I haven't heard of anything. I've not even... Um spoken to anybody who has, but if there's anything going on, then that's down to anybody who's interested. I've not seen any, but there's been lots of rumours and lots of articles. I've not experienced anything for myself. None at all. I've no. been here for 22 years. None at all. It's not, it's not something that comes up in everyday conversation, but, yeah, if you mention it's one person, oh, yeah, I heard so-and-so and I heard something else, and, yeah, I mean, it's general knowledge throughout the... British community that there is supposedly anything from UFOs to witches, whatever, up at the uh, church and the surrounding woods. I don't believe they're happening. So um, I don't believe the reports or anything that's said. I think it's um, largely made up and exploited by the press. Well, we have had quite a number of people with their cars at night, especially in the past. And on the whole, the residents of the village are fed up. But now they're closing the gates, so it's not quite so bad as it used to be. I'm not convinced. I've heard of some media attention, only what I've read on the internet. Media attention in Clapham has, to the best of my knowledge, in the last 26 years that we've been here, been you. When these things are exploited by the press or the media, doesn't do very much good for the village, but I can't say it really damages it. Just a bit of annoyance. But... Yeah. Obviously, there's going to be people who, who want to find out more about whatever's going on up there, but I don't agree with um, leaving messes and causing problem, problems other than the ones that may be there. I think they are a nuisance. I think they're well intended, perhaps, but they really are a nuisance. They leave, or have done, and left litter in the woods and so forth. And um, in the past, I've gone around picking up throwaway packages of food, beer bottles, and so forth. It's all fairly harmless, but nevertheless, it's not really uh, something we, we like to see. As far as the media attention is concerned, and I can't really blame them, they, they've certainly got very fed up with it. Um, there's only been two or three people up there that would actually say anything about their suspicions of something going on. But in the main, of course, 
the villagers will really like their quiet village back. Now, whether that, for some, is a cover-up and an attempt to draw attention away so that things can carry on, I don't know. So, are the friends of Hakate still operating in the area? We may never know. Perhaps they've moved on to other more remote locations. Maybe they visit the woods once in a blue moon. Or maybe they just never even existed. One thing's for certain, Charles will continue to investigate. I want to find the friends of Akati, get photographic evidence and, and bring them to justice. They really have to be stopped. And I'll keep doing this until the day I die.